welcome to week one, day two of Summer Steam. Today we will be building a temperature scale, also known as a thermometer. For this activity, you will need one ruler, one marker, one clear plastic straw, one piece of modeling clay, one bag of dyed water alcohol mix, and one plastic water bottle. We provided all of these materials for you except for the water bottle. You'll need to get that yourself. For this first step, you'll take your ruler, your marker, and your clear plastic straw, and you're gonna measure out any length that you want. For this activity, I chose one centimeter, but you're gonna go ahead and mark out that length and draw that on your plastic straw. So again, I decided to do one centimeter, but you can do half a centimeter, three centimeters, three eighths of an inch, whatever distance you want. Just make sure those lines that you draw are the same distance apart. I'm not the boss of you. I am just the voice of your instructor for summer steam telling you how to do this. Step two, go ahead and get that bag of water alcohol mix that we've labeled for you and pour that into your water bottle. You might need a funnel for this, but as you can see in the video, if you do kind of carefully out of the corner, it should be able to go. Try not to spill any, but if you do, it's okay. We all make mistakes. Go ahead and clean that up. You'll want to get all of that mix in there. For this next step, step three, you're going to place that straw inside the water bottle and you're going to use the modeling clay to stick it in place. However, when you put the straw in, make sure the bottom of the straw does not touch the bottom of the water bottle. You just want it to touch the liquid, but not the bottom of the water bottle. So find a good length for it to go in and then stick that on there with the modeling clay. You, once you put that modeling clay on there, go ahead and use the clay to also plug the top of the straw. Nice. Adjust it how you see fit. Next, you're going to place it outside for 10 to 20 minutes and wait for the temperature to go up. You'll see the temperature go up if the liquid moves up the straw, acting as a thermometer. What are we looking for when we use a thermometer? The answer is temperature. Temperature is actually a measurement of thermal energy. When we read a thermometer, we are reading a measure of how much thermal energy an object has. What happens when the temperature goes up in a thermometer? The liquid inside the glass tube rises. It rises because heat makes the liquid expand. When something expands, it means it gets bigger. The opposite word for expand is to contract, or when something gets smaller. The liquid inside the thermometer contracts when the temperature gets cold. Different objects expand and contract at different rates. Liquids and gases expand and contract much more dramatically than solid objects like metals or glass. Thermometers measure temperature based on the expansion or contraction of a liquid, either red dyed alcohol or mercury. Even though the liquid and the glass tube are at the same temperature, the liquid expands much more than the glass tube. When a thermometer touches another object, heat is transferred from the warmer object to the cooler object until their temperatures are equal. If the thermometer gains thermal energy from its surroundings, the liquid in the thermometer expands. The liquid contracts if the thermometer loses thermal energy to its surroundings.